45-21 after an interesting halftime show. Man, that was wild, Tony. That was probably the funniest thing I've seen in a while. Yeah. Uh, that <laughs> I don't know who the kid was that done the announcement, but if you get to watch this we here in the you. third quarter, yeah, man, like, you got a profession to be a hype man. Commercials, anything, you could do it. <laughs> Good job, young man. We, yeah, we, we, we want them. And if you didn't watch the halftime show, it's a great cornhole Please. game. Ended with a pie in the face. You may want to go check that kid out. Done a great job calling that event. Little uh, mishap there on the George Washington offense. They had both big men in the same lane. I just know that's not how Coach Green probably rolled it up. 45-21. George Washington up by 24. Greenbrier East got a lot of work to do here. It's going to be started by Hayden Roberts. He gets it out to number 12. Front rim, no good. And here we go now the other way. And running the court is Taquan Gord and feeding him was 21, Ryan Switzer. Twenty missed a shot there, Tony. Okay, Hayden three Roberts pointer. there with the, the miss three and running the court will be Nicholas Britton. And I think overall this has been a very scoring, uh, balanced scoring attack here by George Washington. All five starters have scored and they've had uh, three guys score off the bench as well, so that's always very very nice to have that kind of depth and scoring potential off the bench. And they're going to give the block and color to Frankie. You got established position, Tony, yeah. especially that deep in the lane. You know, he had his had an extra defender there, the baseline. You know, put your foot on it. Established position. You're a big man. I'm sure you take a blow. You know, about that little guy was driving there on you. Ball's going to be Hunter Roberts there. Whatever. He looked like he he got tied up with a big man there, and Thomas Frankie. Frankie didn't mean nothing by it. He's making sure he's all right. Yeah, that's something you don't yeah, you don't never want to see in a gym, Tony. But medical staff coming out looking at him. Hope the young man a speedy recovery. Hope he even gets to play again tonight. Yeah, they need him. That's again, he's uh one of the Roberts brothers. Well, that's yeah, he's a uh, Hunter. He's the younger one. He's the junior to senior. Um, Hayden Roberts, who scores about 27 points a game. Yeah, I mean, it's been a family yeah. affair tonight for Greenbrier East as far yeah. as on the scoring end, Tony. Between the two of them, I mean, only other guys that scored is Michael McCormick with the two. And the other 19 points have come by the hands of the Roberts brothers. You know, good respect here by the Patriots. You know, is everybody... Takes a deep breath and, you know, says, man, I'm glad that's not, you know, what would I do if that was my kid? Yeah. You know? They're probably just making sure, he, it looks like he banged his head off the floor there, just making sure that he didn't uh, get any concussion symptoms or anything like that. So we'll see if he comes back in. Again, that was Hunter Roberts. They're going to bring in number 11, Ben Allen, off the bench to replace him. You don't want to cut or anything to your head either, Tony, because sometimes you can't see that right away. Yeah, I saw uh, on Saturday uh, Adam Klein of Winfield last year playing for Alderson Broads. He had his eye cut in the West Virginia State. And was, <laughs> that's bad. Got to call a game for y'all, Lamar, didn't you, Tony? I was so happy to do that. It was an absolute honor to give back to my old college there, you know. But uh, WVSN uh, at heart, though, trust me. <laughs> and here we go down here on the other end. Nick Britton. Getting another basket. His third two-pointer, fourth field goal made of the game. He now has ten. Excuse me, that's nine, believe it or not. 51-21. George Washington now by 30. 5.59 to go in the third quarter. we got a lot of game to go here yet for the Greenbrier East. Taekwon Gordon handing it over to Santino de Trapano. That's de Trapano over to Switzer. Tried to find Gord down low, but no good. And Hayden Roberts is going to bring the ball up the court. He's going to pull it over to number 12. Pulled up the shot, couldn't get it. And the shot is going to be followed up by Hayden Roberts. And that one will be good. He now has 16, all coming on eight two point field goals. Thomas Frankie went down low, and he's going to be 
It's going to be stripped out of bounds or fouled. I believe they're actually going to get him with the foul. I'm going to give it to number 11. Ben Allen, that'll be his first. Team second. A lot of what went on in the first half, Tony's happening in the second. Not a lot of fouls. Nice spin move there by Thomas Frankie, but couldn't get the shot to fall. And here we go. Hayden Roberts pushing the ball up the floor for Greenbrier. He's going to fire up a jump shot. That's good. Yep. Tell you what, he's been uh, pretty consistent all night. He's got nine two point field goals now with 18 points. Well, you know, you heard Coach Green in the pregame. Tony, when you was talking to him, he said, We'll try to contain. Contain him, hope nobody else has a career night. That was their game plan coming in. But an average is an average for a reason, ain't it, Tony? Because you can put it up every night. And here he goes again, speaking of average. Now, he now has 20, 53 28. George Washington's lead at 25. Actually, 53 27 is what they're going to put that down to. Frankie with the long jump shot. That's good. He's showing some range. He now has 15. Taekwon Gord mm. with 14. You know, Frankie's has been a quiet 15 to where Gord had the more explosive 14 points. You know what I mean? Just running around dunking on Everyone's kids. Everyone's keeping track of how many points that young man's got. Yeah. Here we go, getting right across the half court line. This is Luke Eddy of George Washington. Now we're to Nicholas Britton. We're going to keep swinging it around the corner to Eddy. Santino de Trapano. Britton. They're going to work it over now, left hand side Ooh. of Joseph Saunders. Stolen away by McCornick. And they're going to give it to Hayden Williams or Hayden Roberts, I say, but it's stolen away by Joseph Saunders. And here we go now on the other way. They were. The Trapper is going to get fouls. He tried to kick the ball back out to Nicholas Britton. They're going to give the foul to Michael McCormick. That'll be his first, team's third. Three forty-six to go here in the third quarter. Tony Lane alongside Jonathan Foster on WVSportsNet.com. We've made our way into the Kanawha Valley for the first time this year. Ever, I guess. <laughs> you could technically say. Santino the Trapano going in through the paint. Nice. Good move. Nifty move. But Taekwon Gord able to come up with the rebound. Put back still no good. Rebound's going to go to Ben Allen. He's going to go up the floor. No good. Rebound's going to go off the fingertips of Luke Eddy. Back to Greenbrier Reese with 3.24 to go in the third quarter. 55-27. G dub by 28. Yeah, really, if you're Greenbrier East right now is when you got to try to you start chipping away at that lead, Tony. You don't want to go into the fourth quarter down 15, 20 points. No. They still got plenty of time to make a little run here. Uh, Hayden Roberts will need a little help. He's got 20 of the team's 27. Here we go, turnover here back to George Washington. And Santino using Taekwon Gord there as a decoy, and he just went up with it. They were expecting the hoop, and he just went up with the nifty layup. I think I expected the hoop too, Tony. Evan Ramsey with the basket. Evan Ramsey going right back down. And hmm. That would have been even nicer than the other yeah, one. Yeah, that was some <laughs> crazy elevation. Even, I, I guess it's possible something can be out of his reach. Luke A is going to get fouled here on the other end. It's going to be a foul on number 12. Harrison Martin, his second. And the first free throw by Luke Eddy is up and good. It's games like this, Tony. You know, I'm sure Coach Green's been around a while. You know, this is time that you can filter through your bench and you know, work a lot of them players that, you know, wouldn't get significant minutes all all the time. But, you know, he was stressed in tournament time how great it would be to look, you know, look down that bench go 9, 10, 11 deep. Right. I mean, you never know who's going to get in foul trouble down the stretch. Yeah, nobody's immune to it, are they, Tony? Right. I mean, Frankie and Gord can get, you know, three fouls each in the first half in the state tournament game. 
But they're going to have some nice backup minutes and Dustin Krauser coming off the bench, you know, so that's what he's looking for. 59-29, 2.18 to go here in the third quarter. George Washington handily up by 30. As the weather is turning a little frightful outside. We've had people walking out, checking the door every five minutes, and there's some people. <laughs> it's not a normally a good sign, is it? No, He's looking at the no. radar there during halftime. And I don't even want to go outside and look. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I came in, and the guy asked me if it's still snowing outside, and I told him, you know, we come from, you know, south on 119. He kind of looked at me and said, Man, I guess it yeah, probably is bad down that way, ain't it? <laughs> kind of loud. It was crazy, you know, trying to make that drive. But, you know, that's our, that's our passion. That's what we do, Tony. Yeah, we... Through thick and thin, whatever weather brings, WVSN unites. <laughs> it's kind of like the uh, kind of like the postal service, ain't we? Yeah, that's right. Rain, sleet, or snow, whatever that. I don't know how that goes. Aiden Roberts. Aiden Roberts. He's got 24. 59, 33. Dustin Krauser down low. He's going to get fouled from behind though before he gets the. Make a move by Peyton Thompson. Fifty-nine thirty-three. Brandon Wood coming in, as well as number thirty Jordan Tincher, his first action of the night. Eleven Ben Allen, and number fifteen Reese Rogers. Luke Eddy going to go into the paint, kicking it back out. They're going to give a charge, though, on Eddy. It'll be his second personal foul, team second. Yeah. Leave your feet. Establish position. It's the formula for a charge, Tony. Well, no, we're not, I'm not a science teacher, but I'll just kind of break it down for everybody. <laughs> I'm impressed, man. I mean, if there was a chemical f- balance for that, man, you'd be all over it. <laughs> well, you know, they're talk- talking about science. <laughs> I can't get to that science department playing that cornhole game. Oh, man, that was that was fun. We're going to have a jump ball stitch. Oh, we're going to give a holding foul, actually, number 25, uh, Joseph Saunders. Number 25, Joseph Saunders. first personal deep foul, number Minute exactly left on the clock. And Greenbrier gets the ball into Reese Rogers. Good cross court. Three-point shot up and good by Evan Ramsey. Three-point basket by Sparks, number three, Evan Ramsey. He's got five off the bench. And they're do- and they they got a score up without number twenty Hayden Roberts on the court. Luke Eddy just Three. comes right down and Greenberg can't catch a break. Just not rotating on defense, Tony. And GW him. just continues to take open shots all night. Thirty six sixty two. And the two point jumper is no good. Rebound by Nick Britton. Find an open. Darian Williams, he hits another three. His second one. 65-36, three-point shot up, no good by Ben, by uh, Evan Ramsey. Better shoot it. I didn't even see the clock running out there. John, that's why you're here, man. That's right. <laughs> Takes two, don't it? It does. It certainly does. And a score at the end of the third quarter, George Washington 65 and Greenbrier East Spartans 36 down by 29 as they got some work cut out for him here in the fourth quarter. And uh, we'll be right back with the fourth and final quarter action here on WVSportsNet.com. Your sports voice of the Valley. Tony, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we normally go to break right here. we got a few minutes. I was listening to the PA guy, the science teachers. Beats the students in in the cornhole game. Just wanted to get that out there. Okay, all but right. But we are That's we're WV yeah, we're WV Sportsnet.com. Breaking news. <laughs> 